Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Riri J. My name is Maria. I am the owner of A to Z Signing Agency here in Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, and so today I will be talking to you about how to set up and market your signing business, because it is a business, so that you can get the most signings and um, look the most professional. So stay tuned. <laughs> So as a loan signing agent, after you've done everything, you've gotten your notary, you've gotten your loan signing um, exam out the way, you've gotten your background check out the way, you are NNA certified, you are ready to go. That does not necessarily mean your phone is gonna start ringing off the hook. Now, you have to go ahead and make the proper, take the proper steps to actually, you know, um, get your phone to start ringing. Um, so like any business, if you, if nobody knows you're out there and then you're not going to really get any business, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about how I set up my business and the things that I did. The first, the first thing that I did is I learned and I made sure that I was well versed with the most popular loan documents. There's five of them. The first one is a refinance. The second one is a purchase. This, the third one is a home equity line of credit, which is called a HELOC. The fourth one is a reverse mortgage. And the fifth one is a loan modification. Guys, I cannot stress to you how important it is to learn how to navigate these documents, become familiar with how to explain them briefly to the customer. And you don't have to really explain, I mean, to the signer, and you don't really have to explain them. It's just pretty much reading the heading and know what to point out on each page and then have them sign. You also wanna make sure that you are aware of what to notarize, which documents there is to notarize. I'll do another video on which documents to notarize for each of those in a later video. This is gonna be pretty long. All right, so another thing I did as well is I took a professional headshot. My headshot is right here. Um, I took the professional headshot a couple of years ago, actually. I paid someone a hundred bucks and they did um, a whole little photo shoot with me. <laughs> and it was professional and I, I used that picture for a lot of my business um, material. So then you wanna, if you want to, this is something that's not mandatory, but like I said, if you wanna position yourself to be professional um, and, and you know, Stand now above the other signing agents out there. I also created a business name and logo. Um, I went to Canva, which is a, an amazing app. I can create so much great content with the Canva app and that's C-A-N-V-A, I'll put it right here below, um, canva.com. I pay about $12 a month for the service, but you can use the free services that the app have to create you a nice logo. All right, the next thing I did was I set up a Google business account. Um, this is totally free. And with Google business, it's such an amazing thing because you can create your email. You can also, it also gives you a little access, a little website that you can custom make to your own. There are features in Google business that you can actually take advantage of for fee, but I'm just gonna do it. I just got the free stuff and I'm happy with that. So for the Google business, they will they don't require you to have an address to show people for it to be public, but they will ask for your um, home address or business address so they can mail you a postcard. And what they do is they'll mail you a postcard with a code on it. You wanna then take that code and put it into your Google business account. It's kinda like verifying who you are. So um, keep that in mind, but you don't have to have your address published. When I first started, I made it my goal to sign up for at least 100 signing services. You want to make sure that you put yourself out there as much as you can. Now that you've set up your business account, you also want to buy some um, business cards. I went to Vistaprint for my business card. I'll put it right here. Um, just go to vistaprint.com and like you can get 100 business cards for like $15. Um, so that's what I did, 15 bucks, not bad at all. And when people you know, ask me what I do or in, in networking situations, I can pass on my business card 
Also, your business card comes in handy whenever you're returning your loan signing document, your, your loan documents to the actual lender in the mail, you slip one of your business cards in there because you never know, you might get a call from that company to do another signing. Um, I'm gonna also put here a couple of websites that is um, that I recommend you go to to pull these lists from. The first one is notaryrotary.com and then the second one is notaryquest.com. They both have a, an extensive list of signing companies that you can sign up for so that you can start getting some business as soon as possible. Keep in mind, when you sign up for these companies, you're gonna more than likely start getting calls and text messages. These calls and text messages um, are pretty much first come, first serve. So you gotta make sure that you're pretty quick when it comes to responding. Um, but make sure the signing is good for you. It's not too far or it's not, the timing is not gonna be um, inconveniencing. I wanna talk about the application process because the application process to sign up for these signing agencies can be extremely tedious and it's a lot that comes from it. They request all of your documentation. You will need your Arizona Mission Insurance the minimum for Arizona Missions Insurance is $10,000. In the state of North Carolina, that's about $25. For me, I purchased the $75 um, ENO insurance, which gave me $50,000 in coverage. You can go at, um, as far up as $100,000, and I think that's $148 to do that. You will need your certificate, your uh, notary certificate. You will also need your background check. Um, the NNA will send a copy of your background check. Make sure you save it to your, either your desktop or save it on your phone. Same thing goes for your certificate. Take a picture of it, save that to your, um, your desktop or a special folder. And you also wanna save your errors and omissions insurance documents in that same folder. Um, you will also be required to send a W-9 because as you know, we are considered business owners. So they will want that W-9 so they can pay you for the services that you've rendered. Um, so just keep those things in a separate folder or on your desktop. So when you're going through and you're actually applying for these companies, you wanna make sure that everything's right there and it's just quick and easy. Nine times out of 10, they will have you uh, fill out an application and sign. Also, when you're applying for these signing companies, you're gonna notice that they're gonna ask for a lot of the times for your expiration date of your ENO insurance, or they may ask for the start and end date of your, your notary certificate or your driver's license numbers and the expiration date. What I did as well is I t um, got a sticky note or a notepad or Google document and I put all of my expiration dates, um, any kind of policy numbers, driver's license numbers, I put it all on there so I can just copy and paste and not have to go back and look through my documents to get that, that information. This made the process a lot more faster. Trust me, applying for 100 um, signing companies can take you some time, okay? So you don't wanna get discouraged. You wanna make it easier for yourself, not harder, okay? Okay, so some favorite signing companies of mine as a beginner loan signing agent um, that helped me get to the point where I had up to 50 plus um, loan signings. First one is notarygo.com. They don't pay a lot. They, they pay very well below. <laughs> what you want. I'm talking $35, $40, sometimes $50, depending on what type of document it is. However, as a new loan signing agent, I recommend that you take as many signings as you can. Even if it's a $30 loan signing, take it because you're gaining something that's very valuable and that is experience. You will need experience. I would rather make mistakes or learn for, from a company that's only paying me a $30 for a loan signing versus mess up with a direct company or mess up with a company that's paying me $175 to $200 per signing. All right, so the last thing that a lot of agents um, such as myself look forward to is direct business. And direct business is when you work directly with a law office 
and escrow company um, lenders directly. They actually send you the documents directly. That means they're gonna pay you more money for doing that. You cut out the complete middleman when you do this. And it's not easy. You have to put in the work. You have to actually get out there and make yourself known, introduce yourself. And one way, uh, there's about three ways that I did it that worked very well for me. The first thing is um, for every loan that I sent back via the mail, I put my business card in and a small thank you card, thanking them for giving me the opportunity to sign. I also asked for business. I kind of said, if you are happy with the work, definitely reach out to me. The second thing that is also good is I got went to Vistaprint and I got like 15 um, cute letterheads with my logo on it and I put a nice letter and I got folders, um, some little folders. I put it in and I mailed it out to uh, several local closing attorneys offices. That way, um, you know, they have my information there. If they have one of their go-tos that are out or cannot make an assigning, that, hmm, she did send a very professional letter and I've gotten calls from that. So that's also another good thing you can do. Also, you can walk in to these offices as well, but just keep in mind, we're in a pandemic for the most part. People may not be so open with you coming, just walking into the office. Um, they may not even have their doors unlocked for you to walk into the office. Um, and then if you don't know anyone there, it's gonna be kind of difficult to get your get past the gatekeeper. So just keep that in mind. But if you have some tactics, definitely use them. I will also do a video on that as well in a later time. All right, and the last thing I do is, whenever you get a signing, it will show who sent the signing to the signing company. So it'll show what bank or what what lender sent that th those documents to that signing company. So what I do is I take a little quick picture of the name and the, the contact information. I look them up and you'll be surprised. Sometimes those lenders are in the same state as you. So I look them up, I send them a thank you email. And if, they're, if they are local, I'll try to go in and just do a walk, a walk in, introduce myself, thank them for allowing me the opportunity maybe have a Starbucks gift card with me, drop that off or something like that, and then keep it moving. So that is a way. And also it's so important to network guys. Facebook, there are a ton of different notary groups on Facebook. Just go in the search bar, type in notary, and you'll be able to find so many good notary groups that share a wealth of information um, all the way down to the type of printer that they buy. I've seen some people have a whole office in their the trunk of their cars with their printer and everything. So it's just very inspiring and it's very enlightening to share your ideas with other people and also take in their ideas. So yes, I hope this video was able to help. Um, and shed more light on your notary and loan signing journey. Trust me, this is like any other business. You have to get yourself out there. You have to make sure that you're networking and that you're marketing your business. Because if you're not marketing yourself and definitely marketing yourself in a professional way, it's going to be extremely hard to really get business. And then you're going to think, oh, this doesn't work. It really does work, but you have to put in the footwork to make it happen. Until next time, be blessed. Bye.